Okay, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Uncharted Wars for the SNES. You know who this is, and we're gonna go see the king. Okay, Mr. Royalty. Here's your damn, here's your damn wool. Give me my title. Give me, my, give me my damn money. Now, he actually deposits the money directly into your brand new bank account. That's right, you can actually now uh, withdraw and uh, deposit money in, in the castle. Go for for the good of your nation! Okay, you're probably wondering what this is, don't you? Oh fuck, he, co he cock blocked me! Well, anyway, the secret the secret call option is to try to sneak upstairs to meet the princess. Unfortunately, the the butler or wh whoever he is is probably going to um, stop you a few times before you can go see her. Ah, here we go. Yeah, unless you're really into the romant romance stuff, uh, be pre prepared to be made sick by all this lovey-dovey crap. Uh, gift uh, gives uh, actually gives her an item that you found out at sea, like like a gift type item, like not a sword or anything. But flowers are you can obviously just give her flowers from the royal garden you raided raided on the way in, or. We can whisper sweet nothings in her ear. They both have generally the same effect, so let's just profess our lo undying love. Fairly well! Yes! Oh god. Okay. Now we won't actually want to do this uh, several times. Now I'm gonna stop the video here, and I'm gonna show you the reason why we want to have, we really want to get in good with the princess. So I'll be back. Okay, folks. Now see how much bigger the heart is now. Well, when you get to that level, uh, there's a chance that the princess will say this to you uh, at the at the conclusion of your visit. So what does daddy support mean? Well, it could mean a man-to-man -man chat. It could mean a talk on the, ah, oh, excuse me, on the birds and the bees. But no, 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 no. Request funds. No, no, no. She's a, a, she's giving us daddy's money. And best yet. Okay, she didn't do it that time, but you can actually do it again and again and again. With no penalty whatsoever. Oh, come on. Well, just take my word for it, folks. You can do this over and over again, and you can max out your money very quickly. For early on in the game. Now... Uh, you can only carry up to 60,000 gold pieces, but don't forget about your savings account. I'll show you my my page now, and that's what I am now. I'm, I'm a page. I'm a little page boy, but at least I have a title. So anyway. I think I'm gonna go milk the princess for all she's worth for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna. I think it's gonna be time to buy a bigger boat! Okay, folks, we're back. Uh, now that we've built about another uh, 40,000 gold pieces out of uh, the princess, uh, I'm gonna show you what happens when you meet the king before, um, before you do another royal mission. He's not going to do anything particularly useful, actually. He's just going to show you which ports are under Portuguese control and therefore contributing to, contributing to its economy. And uh, 
remember you can increase support support by investing money in it and I believe it declares support at around 75% for a particular country. So that's useful to know. Now we're going to actually deposit some money. Now we'll deposit 30,000 gold pieces. Now I know we said, I said we were going to get a bigger boat, but what we're actually going to end up doing is we're actually going to start, um, we're going to start uh, crashing a certain port's economy a little bit. We're actually going to completely and utterly trash the Port of Seville's economy. But, and how we do that is we do that by bringing in a whole bunch of um, merchandise. We're probably going to bring in uh, porcelain from Venice and grain from Majorca. They both generally sell pretty well in, in Seville. But we're looking to get to get the prices uh, to below around 70 to maybe 65 percent. And then we're going to start buying ships there. Let's see who this guy is. This is a war fleet? Are you for, are you kidding me? Not a single galleon? All oh, the pirates! Oh shit! Sail! We do not want to get attacked by them. Pirates will usually attack you on on the first opportunity. All right, I'm gonna uh, just uh, call Port Seville here, and we're gonna find out uh, what the where the prices stand. Because uh, I actually sold a whole bunch of artwork here earlier, so we're gonna see how the how the prices stand right now. Okay, eighty-six percent. So we, we want to drive that down a little further. Okay, so let's get going. We're going to go to Venice first because there's something we actually want to buy there. It sells a, a, a neat little thing called the Speculum, which will be useful for treasure hunts later. And, we're, and, from, and also from Venice, we can also buy porcelain, which, also, which sells really, really well in Seville. And of course, that'll really help us out in driving down the prices, because that'll make the buying the ships there cheaper. Like I already said, I think. Yeah, like I also said, you can also buy grain from here in Majorca if you if you feel like it. Yeah, a lower, uh, a lower, uh, lower, a lower price index will affect sh uh, prices of both the shipyard and the and the and the trading post in a port. And who's that now? Hopefully, they're not pirates. Okay. Not exactly friendly, but uh, they shouldn't attack us on sight, at least. And here we are! The City of Water, Venice, everybody! Okay, so first things first, we're going to go over here, 
and we're gonna buy that speculum. What a rude bastard. Okay, so we're gonna buy as much porcelain as we can manage. Okay, folks, uh, I think I'm gonna actually end the video off here. And when we come back, we're gonna actually be at Seville again with the price with the price levels dropped so low that we will buy those buy the buy that brand new ship for steel. So this is Heavens Frogman, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Later, folks.